Hello everybody, welcome back to Born Loses Gaming and welcome back to Fire Emblem Warriors The Three Hopes Demo. This is a brand new recording session, uh, so we've gotten to read a lot of your comments. We have, which has been really great. And there's a few things that I've noticed too. The start screen changed a little bit. I don't think it zoomed, it uh, panned over to the two swords that we use, right? Yeah. That Shez, Shez uses. Uh, not only that, but there is something that I'm curious about when it comes to three homes, right? Three houses, God damn it. <laughs> I, I did that literally within the first 20 seconds of the first part. But um, on the Switch uh, title card, right, it has a picture of female Byleth fighting male Shez. Yeah. Um, my question is, like, if from what I'm a magic is correct, we've swapped spots, right? Mm Where Shez was the enemy and Byleth it was a good person in three ho houses. She's, but go on. Um, shut up. <laughs> I, I... I wonder, did you get to pick uh, Shez's gender in that game too? Or is female Shez um, a product of Three Hopes? Uh, I don't know. I, don't know. Uh, I, I just I was curious seeing that they had the, the mixed genders on the on the front, and it made me think, because honestly, it's kind of weird to pick Violet's gender in this one, seeing as they are the enemy, but obviously we don't know. We're still playing the demo. I assume it's picking your Byleth, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. That like the one that you had in the previous game. Because yeah. something that we did hear is that if you played the other game, your data would be imported to this one. I think like the name is yeah. imported. Okay, we've already seen oh, this. The um, so we are on chapter three, and we know how many chapters are now. I believe you played through four chapters, which Upon means that we do get into Garrick the permadeath. Is it play Tomas through or play two? From what I've please. seen, yes, and it's play through. We're about to start the third chapter, and the after that, there's one more chapter area. to play. I don't want to be able to kill Meanwhile, somebody in the demo. Well, you're not going to kill them. Somebody else is. is. We'll, so get them, them we'll probably get them killed. I would never. Yeah. Plan. We've already listened to this, so we're talking over yeah, it, Yeah, right? that's the only reason that we're talking over it. Now we're getting Things into new like stuff. Clockwork with Monica. Yep, that's yeah. what we thought. So that's exactly what they were hoping to happen. Thanks yeah. to Professor Yuritsa playing his part so ably. Hmm. Mm. And equally to those arrogant fools for letting their guards down. I doubt we will see such fortune next time. Next time? Oh, don't tell me. Ooh, interesting that Hubert's kind of like, oh, come on. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> More of this the crap. has come to take matters into our own hands at the Imperial Capital. This is our chance to finally be rid of them. Of who? But Lady Edelgard, we aren't ready. We'll need an entire host to keep them in check. And we have one, the church. Oh. Forgive my impertinence. But that is not the plan. Interesting. You are the man who once told me to leave no sword in its scabbard. Yes. But one must also take care not to wound themselves when unsheathing Y'all are talking in like hyperbole and shit. Not hyperbole. It's a little fancy. Y'all are just talking. Fancy Sorry. words. Tell me what's going on. But this plan is ill-advised. I cannot support it. That's really interesting because to see him go against... Her, right? So it they is. are supposed to be so close. Even if I were to ignore common sense and go along, it still throws our future plans into disarray. I thought you devised countermeasures to deal with the church. Use them. But those were meant for. Very well. Are you absolutely certain this is the path? <sighs> I wonder, like, if we had picked another house, would this be going on in the background, right? Probably. Does the success of this. It doesn't its contingency rely on Shez. Yeah, that is a good question. I assume that she was trying to get us on her team because of this. Yep, right? that's a good point. Like, I I need more firepower for whatever back-end stuff is going on. Yeah. I am anything but certain. Yet the bandit attack in the mountains created an opportunity we cannot ignore. Is, and I doubt the appearance of this new mercenary is simple coincidence. Is that, a, is that a skin window on her chest? There's a little itty bitty one. It, how's that working? Because uh, it's like puffs of fabric. It lets you breathe a little. Oh. Because why not? Because I thought it was just like a patch of material, but now that I'm looking at it, it's like a hole in the center yeah, of whipped like, I cream. I kind of think that was kind of like an emblem. That's funny. Plans can be rewritten, Hubert. Either we're doing this, or we're not. It sounds like you're not giving him much of a choice on whether or not we're doing this. Can yeah. you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? You're kind of toxic, Edelgard. 
<laughs> what, what, what's the line? Gaslight gatekeep girl boss? Yeah. That's where we're oh at right now. Oh my god, she's the girl boss. <laughs> she's the I girl boss. Lady Edelgard. As <laughs> and uh. let us walk forward on this path and see where it takes us. You know, something that I do think is going to be very interesting about this playthrough. Mm -hmm. People commented a lot that we should play the other Three game houses. first. Yeah. Because it's going to expo spoil things. But I think the opposite. I think it's kind of interesting. I have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah. Well, I'm obviously, we're not supposed to. But we're going to find out yeah. eventually. But I, I think at this point, we wouldn't know what's going on in the three houses either. That's the point. It's you don't just, think so? No. It's storytelling. Okay. We're getting a glimpse of what's going on, and we're obviously not supposed to know what's happening yet. I don't know. That's I feel like there'd be, like, implications from the first game. I, don't I, you? No, I don't. Because that's oh. not good storytelling. This, on the other hand, is at the very least, like, it's interesting. It gets your intrigue. What are they fighting for? We don't know yet. And obviously, we're not supposed to know yet, because if you know what the story is, then why are you, know? I wouldn't say obviously, because that's the opposite perception I'm getting. I'm getting you should know stuff from the other game vibes. Interesting. Well, we'll know once we play Three Houses. Yeah, for sure. He was kind of hot, right? I didn't think so before. I thought it looked kind of tired. No, yeah. They, they seem like your type. Okay. I stand by there just like a very realistic Sebastian I from Stardew for Valley. This to you on such short notice, Archbishop. Not at all, Edelgard. But might I ask, what prompted this sudden desire to return to Inbar? We believe one of Tomas's collaborators may have infiltrated the capital. Hmm. My word! Tomas tended the library at Garrig Mock for decades, with nary a blemish on his record. And then, without warning, he drops his disguise and reveals himself to be a vile sorcerer of terrible ability. Someone at the Capitol also fits that pattern. A man we know all too well. And who might that be? My uncle, and regent of the Empire, Bokard von Arendel. His lordship briefly defected from the Empire before reappearing several years later. Hmm. But he returned a changed man. And began seizing power almost immediately. No one thought that was a problem? Yeah, no. That <laughs> seems this like you should know about this. dark magic in secret. And is able to change his appearance at will. That does sound suspicious. If these witnesses can be believed. I would ask that you do believe them. As the information comes from my own house, Vestra. I see. And when you return to the capital, how do you propose to deal with this uncle of yours? Well, could you better have a little tussle? <laughs> Lord Arendelle has the support of a number of influential nobles, including the Prime Minister, Duke Eyre. And while we have allies of our own, it's likely they'll require some convincing. To that end, we wish to bring our friends here at the Academy, their daughters and sons, with us under the supervision of Professor Yuritsa. Okay, so not necessarily kind of strong arming them. Yeah. More more emotional. A little, we yeah. Hoped you would consider deploying the Knights of Saros so the Imperial Army doesn't get any strange it's ideas. A, this is a bad school if they <laughs> say yes. To march on the empire with the church's knights at your back. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I take back what I said. Yeah. Your support would give credence to our claims. Additionally, the knights would keep the populace in check upon our arrival thereby preventing the city from descending into utter chaos. The more I hear of this, the more credible the threat sounds. It's clear you have thought carefully and planned well. Thank you. We intend to seize the palace with our own forces, and we'll do our utmost to contain the conflict there. But we still need your help. Please. How old are you? <laughs> well, I have two conditions. They're a, a child of the people who will be in power, so... Yeah. They have a little more credence than that of uh, just another, like, however old they are. First, when you capture Lord Arundel, he is to be turned over to the knights at once. The second, our knights are not to engage in battle directly. I would have it no other way. Step lightly, Edelgard. Should these claims about Lord Arundel prove false, we will take action accordingly. Make no Jesus. mistake as to who will be held accountable. Different different kind of uh, working way, right? Where it's, it's like, yeah, we'll just go and fight first, but if you're wrong afterwards, then, uh, you know, yeah, really. you're in trouble. Instead of, let's go try and investigate I'm first. Just, but please know we have nothing to gain from deceiving the church. Yeah, <laughs> nothing. Nothing, except for, I mean, 
something. I will summon the knights and let you instruct them as to your plan. May the goddess watch over you all. I mean, it sounds like the thing to be gained is ruling that area. Yeah, you're right. So. <laughs> yeah, we're going to take all of our people, including the ones that don't want to fight. Yeah. Oh. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting. Hmm. Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Uh, say it. Resist the urge and stay quiet. Yeah, say I'll it. say it, yeah. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where did these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. How do you know it's destiny? Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. Sure. And now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. Hmm. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. We right. gotta get out of my mind palace. We don't really shapeshift that uh, much, though. We just kind of get face tattoos. True, it's not the exact same, but hey, whatever. Story's saying it's close enough. I guess. Something wrong? I must return to the Imperial capital soon for an important matter. Will you join me? Most of the other Black Eagles are coming. What's this about? I fear I must keep that to myself until we're closer to the capital. Oh? That's yeah. kind of surprising. Yeah, mm. we're going to go into battle, <laughs> but I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Well, I promise you this. There will oh, be okay, battle, right, cool. and you will have a chance to shine. Thank you. I I kind of don't like the fact that she's uh, leveraging children against their parents. Yeah, no, seriously, now that's kind of like... And it's even worse that the school is cool with it. Like, yeah. I'm going to take your students and use them to convince their parents. And they're like, that sounds like a fun field trip. I mean, if if there is something of evil intent going on here, I mean, it's like this school is, it's not a school for children. It's a school for children to become like soldiers, leaders, soldiers, yeah, but you know, is, is the implication then that it's cool to just not tell these kids what they're signing <sighs> up for to blackmail their parents? Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, these powers I have are like the ones Tomas used. Yes, that is a bit disquieting. Still, you've given me no reason to mistrust you. You could have wrested yourself free of us from the start, but instead you chose to stay here at the monastery. You fought by our side and helped us save Monica. I think I can give you the benefit of the doubt. Not to be a naysayer, but Tomas also chose to stay at the monastery. <laughs> which yeah. is very much not disproving <laughs> I know. his guilt. Yeah, really. That's fine. It's We're whatever. Cool. Here's my true proposal. If you accompany us, there's a good chance you'll learn where your powers come from. How do you How know, do you know we do don't you know, know where what they do you come know? from? What do you know that I don't what? know? <laughs> Ooh, now that is intriguing. In that case, I accept. Thanks. Uh, Why don't I have a, a little chess window? It's like Edelgard gets a cool little chess window. I maybe don't. we he we're gets not, a cool little chess window. I know we're not directing people where to stick their sword. Man, not that I think their fabric oh. shirts are really going to help very much. Hmm. Monica level two, cool. I like that they come with like little sprites. That's that's pretty cool. Part of uh, ways with Ferdinand. Bernadetta, Caspar. Oh, okay. So only some of them have joined us on this battle, and it's not everyone. That was a lot of people for her having said most of them are coming. Yeah, uh, I mean, four out of the ten aren't coming, so six still are, I think. Yeah. I wonder what sort of battle we're in for. I should ask by now. So cool, another little talking segment. That's kind of cool. Let's see all there is to talk to. If you please. I believe this is the first time we've met. My name is... Uh, Ladislava. I serve as one of Lady Edelgard's personal guards and will be assisting with the entry into the capital. I believe we will be working separately tomorrow, so I trust you will take excellent care of her. It's nice to meet you. But this is another one of your types. It's nice to meet you. Okay. You're a little short. I, I like, but you're I like, a little short, but I'll let it go. I like your dragon armor. Dragon armor is kind of really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Hello. Yeah. Oh. oh. We'll be entering Enbar tomorrow, so rest up and restore your strength. Uh -huh. That bad, huh? Yes, we were expecting it to be quite the battle, but I look forward to seeing what you can do. 
Um. Yeah. Right. I feel like she wants obedience, but I say yeah. Let's do this to figure out. Yeah. See if. Sounds rough. Who are we fighting? Oh, no one of particular importance or concern. Still, I prefer to wait a little while, a little while before disclosing <laughs> information. In that case, I'll make sure my gear's ready. Thank you. Perhaps now might be a good time to speak with the others. <laughs> Seeing you calm and collected should help soothe the nerves of any who are anxious in the shadow of battle. Mm. There's a few of these of these ones too. Hello, student. Did you know there's a whole town under Garrick Mock? A bunch of suspicious characters live there. They call it the Abyss. I wonder what those folks are really like. The church leave them alone though, so they must not have been involved in the business with Tomas. Huh. Oh, they just yeah, they just call it Abyss. That's yeah, all. It's fine. When I, I wonder how that kind of word spreads too. Do you think it's a good thing that I came along? I mean, it's true that we want as many good fighters as we can get, but when it comes to the actual plans, I'm completely hey. in the dark. Well, not much to do about it now. We'll definitely be counting on you if it comes to a fight. So we must be able to see all of this. <laughs> yeah, all of the students that are here that can Over fight here. with us. Ah, oh, perfect timing. I wanted to thank you again. I met you earlier, of course, but things have been quite hectic recently. My lady Edelgard unfortunately did not tell me every single detail. It sounds like you played a big part in my rescue. So thank you for that. I mean it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't do that much. Edelgar was the one who really saved you. Still, I'm glad you're safe. So, if I played some small part in that, then all the better. I agree. Well, then, I'm expecting the greater things from you once we reach Embar. All right. There's somebody who is hiding over here. Hold on. Right. What are you doing all the way over here? Hello. Hee <laughs> hee. Same. Need something? I hid some bananas in the barrels, and I'm <laughs> going to eat them now. Oh. Me? I'm a commander from House Vestra. House Vestra may not have any territory to speak of, but we don't lack for military might. Though we're a bit of a peculiar bunch. Ha! Ha! Okay. Is that why you're giggling in the corner? Yeah, just to yourself with some actually somebody next to you. So whatever. Hey. So I heard you really know your way around a fight, but come on, that can't be true. I mean, you got those two scrawny little stick arms. You're barely taller than a child. And if you got a baby face, that's a single scar. We're taller than you. Wait, we are taller. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? Uh, I argue just roll with it. Yeah, roll with it. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. Yep, you got me. I'll probably trip and stab myself in the stomach before the fight even starts. Handle it, will ya? I sure hope not. Listen, maybe you should just stay behind me, all right? I'll... Are we going to lose people? Not like, obviously, there's a lot of unnamed people here, yeah. right? No, I, I, I'm expecting these people to die. Casualties! Hooray! You should hear this. She didn't call Ferdinand or Linhart, yet she summoned a fringe noble such as myself. What should Lady? What could Lady Elgar be thinking? Oh. Still, it's a great honor. And it could make for a fine opportunity to increase my family's... They're definitely... Like, something is going on. So, I mean, it seems like a hostile political takeover is going, What's on. going on. Yeah. And the fact that she didn't call the other two major houses, but she called fringe houses. Oh, it's you're It's kind of right. like, I'm hiding this information from you guys. Tread lightly, friend. The woods around here are the hunting grounds of House Press. Mm -mm. Uh-uh, not saying it, not worrying about it. And, <laughs> and to recklessly, it's to forfeit your life. Sick. So there's another person we have. Oh, oh we brought teacher. the teacher. Okay. I have a contract. That's the only reason I'm here. Uh, if you work for the church, I just work for someone outside the church. Yeah, church, I think. Okay. So basically. So is this contract with the church? Does it have anything to do with the fact you're a professor at the academy? <sighs> Think what you want. That probably okay. would have been the response either way, I assume. Yeah, that's kind of what it's feeling like, right? Knight of Saros. How may I help you? Hello there, I'm a liaison from the Knight of Saros sent to assist in the assault on the capital. Cool. I, I hmm. came in to attend the final planning meeting, and I must say we knights have a good deal to learn from the thorough way Hubert manages intelligence. Giving only what information is necessary at any given time sounds simple enough, but often proves quite difficult in practice. And though few of us understand the full situation, there's still there has still been no major confusion. Regardless, we intend to cooperate fully with both Lady Edelgard and the Imperial Army. Do you um this so this is interesting. Mm. They everyone here, including the lady, is saying that we are going into battle. A yes. big battle. Yeah. But she told the church that it was totally cool if they didn't fight at all. And they're just present. Yeah, but I mean, it's I. So like she, sorry. she's still intending to fight, but what? I guess the Imperial Army is really just hanging out to keep people loyal. Yeah, 
Given your past, I hardly think it's necessary for me to ask after your readiness for battle. We will be counting on you and Enbar, but this be the sword in Lady Edgar's hands and smite her foes. Also, you should know that victory in tomorrow's battle will hold great significance for yourself as well. Not despite every no idea what you don't want to do that. Yeah, whatever. Uh, well, let's see. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Interesting. All right. What Please. did he have above his head? I don't know. The real power of the Empire is held by the six great noble families with Prime Minister Ager at the center and Lord Arendell as regent. Er, you are familiar with the noble six, yes. yes. They are the apex aristocrats and exclusive inheritors of important positions such as the ministers of military affairs and domestic affairs. Okay. Imagine if you walked up to somebody and they started talking to you about like the judicial branch. <laughs> Did you? In America, there are three branches of government. Did like, you know that? <laughs> who the fuck are you? <laughs> why, why are you talking to me about this? Like, there's checks and balances. They keep each other in oh, checks God. and balances. I graduated seventh grade already. Please <laughs> leave me alone. I never thought a chance to fight for Lady Elgar would fall into my lap so quickly, but here it is. I won't tolerate those curs who strut about the Imperial Palace if they own the place. No, sir. Uh, sorry. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Well, there are checks and balances, right? There are three <laughs> different... <Stop. laughs> <laughs> well, Lady Elgar is going to explain everything tomorrow, so let's just plan to win a glorious victory. <laughs> All right, who are the two hanging out? Who's Any, with else? us? You two, interesting. Have you heard of the Supreme Court? <laughs> I do not wish to be speaking out of turn, but Lady Edelgard is surely having many enemies. When we arrive in Enbar, I will be fighting to my utmost. I fight not just for the Empire, but for Brigid as well. They, Brigid, whatever. They have fates that are intertwining. Oh. Yeah. 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 Especially everyone is relying on me. <laughs> I like Petra. Mm. Your being here is reassuring. Now, let us be fighting together and bringing about victory. No. Is a bond. Thank you. Oops. Sorry, I didn't try and run away from you. Well. I can't put my finger on why, but I have a very strange feeling about all this. Maybe it's because I wasn't expecting to return to the capital this year. Isn't the group we're going with a little unusual, too? Ferdy, Caspar, Lynn, and Byrne won't be joining us. I'm surprised that most of the children of the six great noble families stayed back at Garrick Mock. Oh, but of course, Hubie had to tag along. Anyway, let really me see wonder who exactly will be fighting. Now, see, this is one of the first times that I felt like there might have been more context in the Three Houses game, right? Right. This is the first time I've gotten that impression. Hmm. Uh, just a little bit more as to why some of these other people aren't going. Now, I think we could have been able to pick up on it if... I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to... I think we're kind of picking up on it. Parsing it seems like she doesn't want the big, the main people yeah. involved. I just parsing information can be hard for me sometimes. Maybe she's right. concerned that uh, another nation would take the opportunity to snatch power from her area instead Maybe. of. Uh, or I mean, if if we're if I, I thought we were bringing the noble children, but it sounds like the noble children left stayed behind almost. I think we're bringing the noble children of her land at least, I right? Know. It's a lot of the political side. So that's what I mean. It's like trying to parse this information. It's difficult for me. It's hard. Yeah. Thank you for speaking with what everyone. It's grown quite late. You should rest up for tomorrow. All right. Battle time. <clears throat> Curious Had to see. What? Do we ever get paid? Someone's been <laughs> unmasked. Yes, my lord. Rooted right out of the monastery. First Kranya's debacle and now this. What in the world is going on? I know not, my lord. What are we to do? Keep our composure for a start. Send word to the kingdom and see that Cleobulus is informed. Cleobulus? <laughs> Tell him to remain prudent. If he must go into hiding, so be it. At once, my lord. I wonder what, what's going on in the background. Like, who did all these seemingly decent people run into to be, you know, swayed? Yes. Lord Regent, I have urgent tidings Oh, this is report. Lord Arendelle. Is this her uncle? I guess you so. Enter. Good remember names. I'm. That's what I'm telling you, man. I am. Forgive the intrusion, my lord, but we just <clears throat> learned the Knights of Seros march on Enbar. Their purpose is unclear, but they will arrive by morning. We've been turning ourselves upside down to make ready. The Knights of Seros? No. Do you think? There's only one person who could be behind it. How dare she bear her fangs at us? Oh. No. They may already be within the palace walls. I wonder if... Oh. Mobilize the guards and search. If anyone so much as looks at you askance, kill them on Damn. the spot. That's what evil people say. Yes, that sure lord. is. 
I'm positive that's what evil people say. Yeah, I'm fairly certain you <laughs> might be an evil people, Your sir. Has given the signal, Baltimore. Oh my gosh. Hello. <laughs> you look so funny. They look great. <laughs> Already, I had thought they were still negotiating. Things are moving rather quickly. The situation must have changed. Our children are still at Garrick Mock, after all. Hmm. I admire how strong she's become. I just wish we'd had more time to appraise her competence. Well, if she's caught us with our breaches down, imagine how they feel. I can't wait to see the confused look on those dastards' faces. Oh, I'm going to enjoy every second of this. As if you'd be content to watch. Once the battle starts, you'll be knee-deep in gore with all the rest. Which means, I'll have to make it clear where I stand. We can't afford to tear the Ministry apart by having the pen and sword at odds. Are they going to be on our side, or...? <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. It seems These like they're kind of proud of us, right? I imagine they may not come as a surprise to many of you. For some time now, Enbar Palace has been infested with the same darkness you saw in Tomas. They have made a puppet of the Emperor and plot with disloyal subjects to seize control of the Empire. Our objective is to stamp these traitors out, seize the palace, and reclaim the Empire for our own. Oh yeah, let's do some cool royal I mean, shit. You realize it's just us, right, Eighty? That sounds kind of impossible. Now nah, we're just cool and shit. Yeah, I mean, we are. We're students training yeah. to be soldiers, I think, is the... I'm with this one. I'm with Dorothea. Dorothea reminds me of a character from Metal Slug, I'm realizing. I don't know, she's cute as hell. <laughs> Still, the Empire is having many soldiers. Perhaps you could be changing their minds? Those who can be won over will be. And the realization they are fighting the Imperial Princess ought to dull the other's blades. We have also secured the cooperation of several nobles inside mm, the palace. That's mm. probable. Okay, okay. Very impressive, Your Highness. And very you. I suppose all that remains is to head inside and take care of business. I thought you graduated. Wasn't that Ooh. the whole thing about you? Voice your unease. Give a stirring speech. Give a stirring speech. Just yeah. Watch. We'll take them all down and have the bards singing our names by nightfall. I don't know if I agree with that. Yeah, actually, yeah, baby, let's kick so ass. Here we are, ready to deal a master stroke to a the what? heart of the mighty empire. Master stroke. Oh, life with you yeah. certainly <laughs> oh, is boring. I've had a few of those in my life. <laughs> oh my god. Life with you we'll certainly isn't boring. The through the rear gate. <laughs> then apprehend Lord Arundel and Duke Iyer. From there, we'll secure the palace's strategic positions, eliminating all resistance we encounter. I don't along like the that your response is, Yeah, you know what? I do remember that. <laughs> I was excited <laughs> when that happened. Your yeah. master stroke. Yeah. Can you, <laughs> by the way, can you like tell me exactly what the timestamp is when you made that joke so I can see if the click through rate went down? <laughs> if that is our plan. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> you can hear them scrambling in the palace from here. Let's not wait for them to find their bearings. You don't know. Maybe some will go back like, <laughs> Master Stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh -oh. Uh, I... way, your highness. Oh, and make sure to keep her safe, Hubert. Here, you know every square thing. inch of that place after all. Mm -hmm. We've already committed to this route. Yeah. So we should just be passionate about it. Uh, you know what? You're right. Just mind you don't fall prey to your own distractions. These villains have had free run of my house for too long. Today, I take it all back. Let's go. Me, me at fruit flies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You're just right. Oh, my God. We're <laughs> in the top right. That's such a weird place to start. Defeat Duke Iger and Lord Arendelle. Yeah, okay. I had no defeat conditions. Yay. Oh, well, that's nice. For starting a battle, you can adjust which units deploy. Units placed within the dark blue grid will be able to control and give orders to. Units placed in the light blue grid will only be available to give orders to. Highlight a unit to see their advantage against the enemies that will appear on the battlefield. You can check by the weapon type, extra effectiveness. Choose units that will have an advantage. Okay, cool. So is is three houses this uh, quick to progress? Because it feels like this, like fighting the uncle, should be the final thing that happens in this game. Uh, like I mean, were... it has to. There's, there's clearly, I mean, first of all, there's clearly more because Byleth. Yeah, Byleth. Um. So yeah, no, there has to be more. Who do I want to bring with us? I kind of have Hubert a playable character. Yeah, um, let's bring the old man. Let's bring Petra, because I love her. Oh, you want to bring Petra? In that case, I'll leave Monica out. Yeah. I, I wish... <laughs> I wish I liked Petra's voice more, but I like her as a character. 
Oh, there we go. We can just chain. And here are the four that can't come. So okay. sad. It, we have oh, yet to play with uh, Bernadetta. <laughs> no, we have not. Poor level one. Poor level one. All She's right, scared. I'm... And then, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think... Oh, and we can... Oh, we can change weapons and shit. Oh, very nice. Oh, man. Oh, God. Do I have the time to do this kind of thing right now? Probably. Uh, Patalia, don't have any... Oh, I can give her a shield. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. And then convoy. There we go. Yep, take a shield. Why not? Oh, I only have one shield. Oh. How do I have a shield when I have two swords? Whatever, we'll find out, I guess. You, um, maybe you leave one of your swords behind. Okay. I think the combat menu, where you can prepare for battle, here you can equip, equip combat arts, change ability, change classes. Interesting. Change class will change your weapon you can equip as well as your action during battle. Also change your advantage against enemies. You require a new weapon in the last battle. Go on and equip it. Uh, sure. I got a new weapon. Sure. Iron sword. Ooh. Very nice. And that's the, that has its own thing. Venom edge level two. Resistance effect level one. A sword that flicks foes with a biting poison. Oh, dang. God damn. All right. Put that on us. We have purple hair. Yeah, I know. I thought you absolutely. Sting like a butterfly. Wait a minute. Float like a bee. Float like a butterfly. Whatever. Also nope. sting like a butterfly. I just <laughs> kick their ass like a butterfly would. That's why, enough. Why isn't it float like a bee also? Back. The knight's unexpected visit must have thrown the court into disarray. That's a good question, honestly. Because bees float. And they're pretty zippy. Um, there's only one place to go, so I'm just going to go to it. You're right. They're zippier than a butterfly. I feel like I could kick a butterfly's ass. Would you kick a butterfly's ass? Uh, physically, yes. Emotionally, no. <laughs> that's, what was, that's what I was thinking. I think morally, I would have some issues uh, punching down a butterfly. P punching the butterfly? Yeah. Like, oh my god, a butterfly! Ugh! Yeah, yeah. Why not like? Well, I, I had to be like, why not like smush the butterfly? You know? Uh, well, no. I'm going to punch them into you're, a wall, you're going to punch which will them. smush them. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll punch you so hard I smush you. You know? This happened to me once or twice, so yes, I, I know. Oh, absolutely. Ooh, I saw something. I, too, like making jokes about you getting into fights. You, the squishiest person I know. <laughs> I've literally never fought in my life. But, uh, I love that ability. you could, so in cool. theory. One day, I believe that you'll get into a fight. Why would I want that? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll be years down the road... And some guy will say some shit to you in a 7-Eleven, and you'll be like, this will make a great story for BLG. So you, like, spit on his wife. Well, there's no way, there's no world where spitting at somebody's wife wins me good books in anyone's world, right? Well, Ian, you're a YouTuber. You leave out the part that makes you look bad. <laughs> what in the... No! Seal the gate now! Oh, you have a big shield, dude. Oh, bye-bye. Run, run away. Oh, that's the person I have a positive fighting thing on. This oh. complicates things. Well, they ran we'll away. Have to cut around through the gardens. Don't right. spit on your people's wives. Yeah, please. Unless uh, they, like, I ask. Go. No mistakes. You know? <laughs> Unless they really, happens. really want you to. Right. <laughs> if you're if you're three <laughs> consenting adults, then you can spit on their wives. <laughs> Great. Yeah, if they ask you to, please, God, spit on my wife. Please, not not your wife. Somebody else's wife. Wake up, babe. New flavor of cuck just dropped. So let us break through and prove it. Oh, God, I don't want a spit-flavored cuck. I had tuna today. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, tuna would be a bit of a of odd. Not a good situation, no. you know? We've talked about it before. <clears throat> yeah, too many, any fish is yeah, just not... Just uh, it, it, not a good situation. Boy, why do you have a horse in the castle? It's a big castle. Oh, do I need I need the key? Just, you have an axe. I know, that's what I'm thinking, right? It's not well, working, Well, somebody though. has the key. You just gotta go get it from them. Yeah, I think it's like one of the thief moments. Yeah, check the map. Last time it was on the map. Oops. No. Uh, well, sorry, give me a second to beat the snot out of this soldier. Take all the time you need to snot, people. Cool. Yeah, maybe I will. It's a 
It's like, you, you don't have to snot them. It's like milking, you know? Mm. What? I'll look, you could you could keep any future thoughts on the inside thoughts of your own. Okay, we're gonna go back to Chez. Okay. Excuse me. Delightful. Oh, I keep forgetting I have this thing. Oh god, that feels so good. Like you I love the the act of just zipping through the map. Me too. I like that they have planters with just a bush in them. That's yeah. that's a bush. It's very very large. Yeah. Uh, grandiose. Mm. But I I guess this is a castle. Oh, I guess uh, this is te sort of outdoors. Oh, I already solved that particular problem. How? Maybe that's what the people on the inside are for, right? Oh yeah. I find it's very it's it takes a very long time to get our um. Our stuff in this game, like the your special bar, the the that meter. Yeah. It takes quite a long time. It feels like. Hmm. Which is interesting. Maybe there's a special way to make it go up faster. Yeah, maybe I just haven't like really learned that yet. Um, let me see if we can go anywhere. Nope, there's only one place. To, there's a lot of these little barrels I could break, but I'm not too concerned about that just yet. I'm not like really itching to do that. Have we? Can we replay levels? Um, I don't think so. Not yet. Interesting. Not as far as I'm aware. I'm just wondering for things like. Clearly, there's a chest, right? Yeah. Do we only have this one shot to get the chest? Yeah, I, I don't know. So hmm. far, it definitely feels that way. Interesting. Oh, she's so slow in fighting. I guess it would make sense in, oh, in terms of this game, since there's, like, permadeath. Yes. That they'd be like, you get one shot at the chest. But uh, admittedly, I'm never a huge fan of things where it's a one-and-done mm -hmm. deal. I'm not in love with permadeath. And I actually yeah. know that we got comments uh, happy that we're playing this game because Three Houses and just the entire Fire Emblem series was something that people couldn't play themselves because of the permadeath. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's up? Apologies, Ludwig, but if you want to leave, it'll have to be through me. Yes. So he is helping us. Oh. And I think so is so. No, is they're this guy. against each other. Game, you must go through me. Although I must seem like nothing in comparison to that bear at the front gates. No, I think they're both fighting for us. Oh, oh, they are fighting for us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. Awesome. Interesting. Wait, so those are the nobles you won over? Where did you find the time huh. to orchestrate that? Now that we have to buy a thing let us keep his wings yeah, let's make sure that let's just be very clear what's going on. We are killing someone today. We are we are going to kill someone. Magic in the wind wind torn status. Wind magic attacks may inflict the wind torn status on enemies. Wind torn units will suffer heavy damage after being launched to the air. Such damage can also unleash air blades that will additionally damage surrounding units. The stronger the elemental effect of the attack, the greater the chance of inflicting the wind torn status. Also, be easy to generate powerful air blades. Cool. You would think it'd be smarter to capture them though, don't you think? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on what's, you know... Because, like, we're not killing the uncle. The uncle is being handed over to the church as soon as possible. Which, yes. by the way, I don't trust the church. Just throwing that information oh, out yeah. there. You don't trust the church either? I don't trust the church either, yeah. The fact that they're just like, yeah, give us the uh, evil backstabber. Also, we have mole people in our basement called the Abyss. <laughs> Uh, we don't but we, mold people. But Hold we on. Don't, we're not going to acknowledge them. We're just going to leave them down there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust any church that has a civilization of mole people living underneath it. Oh. Unsettling. That's what that is. Yeah. God, at least I I'm love pretty sure it was the church. Yeah, I think it was the church. It was at uh, um, their camp, Garrett Mock. Garrett Mock, I'm, yeah. I'm learning the names. But uh, I do like that the, the, by talking to people, we get a little more info on the, the schools and stuff like that. Oh, for sure. I love our outfit. I think this outfit is so cute. I, I really like the character design. I think it's very great. Yeah. Very, very nice. Hello. You are literally dead. All right, cool. Not to be like full Disney Channel character makeover, but I would have liked if she pulled back her hair when she joined the school. Ooh. Wow. No. 
You're still outnumbered, and this isn't done until I say it's, it. It, it. Ager still uh, wore the flag of the Addistrict Empire, which obviously right, but yeah. I mean, as far as this person's concerned, they're actually on the side of this. Ooh. Damn, hello. <laughs> I fire orb. Oh my god. I activated fire orbs. We're in a <laughs> castle defense game all of a sudden. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So who can I send over to these places? You got to go over here. Why did you go to the one that you're weak against? <laughs> Why would you do that? And then you can go here. Honestly, it would be kind of clever if the game automatically sent them to places Key. they shouldn't be to make sure you're paying attention. Ooh, honest, I could see that. And by clever, I mean, how dare you? <laughs> Here, they, this person has the key, so we want to defeat them ASAP. And I'll just have you defeat this person, because why not, right? And then we have to physically run back to the Kate, the chest, right? Uh, yes, which is, shouldn't be too hard. But there we go. Finally at a point where I could... I, I love this. This is so cool. It is quite neat. Oh. This guy sounds, um... A hey, little drunk. I, I kind of killed your guy. I have riches. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I am as great as a man can be. <laughs> yeah. They keep trying Look to square up, but they're <laughs> cowards. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, you will, you will fight. Well, you will fight. Oh, fire uh, war. Uh, <laughs> yes. This is so this funny. Is we need to worry about. Keep moving and remain alert. Yeah. Yeah. Duke, I oh my God. Already. Didn't even have the grace to buy me some time. All right. All right. Anyway, superpower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all should have either left or attacked. I should not have wasted that. I literally should not have wasted. No, I'm. That. I'm very happy that you did so. So it's time for me to deploy my wild card. Your wild card. What is it? Is it that? Oh, cool. Dark magic. Is it that lady again? Oh shit! Dark mage is all around the castle. Oh, the ones with the, uh, what are they? The Plague Doctor masks. Maybe. Oh, that's cool. Let us make clear to these fell warlocks that they are most unwelcome in this place. There's a... Nice, so now they're coming out of the thing, so now I think they're going to help us out. Nice. Huh. Very cool. Do we uh do we accept you. the use of plague doctor masks as meaning that the black plague existed in this universe? And that despite the fact that they use magic, they weren't able to know that some herbs wouldn't necessarily protect you from it? I don't know enough about the Black Plague to further the conversation, so I'll just take whatever you say at your word. So and go from there. So the masks had, like, a combination of herbs in the big open bird beak noses that were yeah. supposed to protect them. Which, it did protect them, but only because they were wearing a rudimentary hazmat suit. Nice. Not okay. because of the herbs, necessarily. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So it's like, you failed the task successfully sort of deal. <laughs> Uh, you, you you roll a d20, you get a two, but all you needed was the two anyway, so yeah. like it's fine. Like you could you, you could have rolled something shorter. You mm. didn't have to go that hard. Begin. Interesting. So I'm not really getting much positive on a lot of these. You're positive on a lot of people, so you go ahead and go down Spirit there. Hubert, Let us go to work. take on go nope. Forth. Hubert, <laughs> take on this mage. Oh wait, I've I've been, I've been seeing numbers. Me? Oh, that's like, okay. Oh, that'll be good for when, oh, I don't know. We're dying and shit. Yeah. Let's see, like sure. You. And then I have some people over here, right? Can I, I cannot order you. You, on the other hand, Monica, I need you to come over here because there's nobody. I thought we left Monica behind. No, Monica, no, no, no. We can't control Monica. Oh, but she's still here. Yep, but we can uh, lead her to oh, go to different places. Okay, that makes sense. Have I led everybody? I definitely have not, have I? The two middle people I don't think have been led. 
right there. Oh, there. Okay, Jesus. Hello. No, oh, you know, just the the boss lady. Yeah, just just the person in charge. The girl boss. Just the girl boss, dude. They must learn. All right, and that's then good the enough. upper one, which that's is me. us. So. Yeah. All right. I'll just go. You Have know. Have you swapped characters this entire time? Yeah, I've played as two characters now. Okay. I feel I like I just haven't I've... played as um this dude, but that's because I don't want to. That's oh, a little. He's magic. I'm not super magic -y, you know? Uh, I guess I get that. When I, um... <laughs> this is an old-ass game. When I used to play Fantasy Star Online with Damn. my sister... <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, she... I always like playing Warriors now, right? Mm -hmm. But because my sister also likes playing Warriors, yeah. I ended up playing a magic character so that we didn't die. Because it was kind of necessary to have somebody that could defuse traps and yes. shit. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But, uh, yeah, sometimes you gotta you gotta pick up the pace where the team needs that, right? Right. And I, because of that, I kind of have an affinity for magic users. I like that. Even if I, like, I won't necessarily choose them because of my preference. I like um, healers more than I like the kind of combat magic. It felt like. He was, right? That's fair, yeah. Ooh, same ah. people. I mean, that makes sense. Since okay. the Dark Wizards yeah. were there. Chamber of the Eagle, though, kind of a baller-ass name. It is pretty sick. I mean, I know it's the Black Eagles, but still. Yeah. It sounds like it would smell bad. What? The Chamber of the Eagles. Oh, you're, you're it's so It's like the right. floor would be covered in newspaper. Oh my god, I leveled up again. They really do need to be playing as the other people more. Probably. Like, if, if, if I want to make sure that everyone lives, everyone needs a higher level. I think um, anybody who watched us play Hyrule Warriors knows you have a bit of a main character complex. Ooh, that's an interesting take from Hev Hevrig. It may, it may, like, behest us to learn more about this, right? I do like that, but they're a bookworm, right? That's their whole deal. Ah, uh, yeah. But it's just interesting, you know, because normally, it's sometimes it's like, oh, dark magic, we can't do that. The dark magic sucks. Yep. All right, let's go. I will swap yeah. characters now. Let's go over to... Hello. Oh, you almost did it. Perfect. Yay, now we take credit. Beautiful. Love that. My favorite. I love taking credit. I <laughs> did this. <laughs> God, I love giant-ass axe characters. Yeah, fire oh, as an element is so cool. Axes are very good. Yep. We just need to get a new one because like hers is like this rusty old axe. Like, you're the freaking like next in line of your house. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah, it lights on fire, but like it's so rusted. Why do you think it's on fire in the first place? Uh, like, does fire cause rust? Well, maybe it's not rusted. Maybe that's like uh. Just magic against fire. Oh, Hubert's health is pretty low. Well, you've been ignoring him. And also, he's old. <laughs> you know? Like, he's out here hurting his back. <laughs> oh, God. What is, what? I, I need to know how old Hubert is. Uh, He's actually the four, what the 40-year-old virgin is based off. Oh! Are you saying Hubert's a virgin? Uh, it's in the title, so uh, unless it's a twist. Uh, I'm looking it up. How old is Hubert? <laughs> don't get any spoilers, dude. I'm not. I don't think it's, it's like. Oh yeah, how it's old Hubert? Mm -hmm. Three houses. Oh my God! Defeat Lord Arendel and drive the darkness from Enbar. God damn. That's pretty metal. Also, I called bullshit. Okay. Hubert is 20. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. That man is 45. That's really funny. Yeah, I'll take care of this fighter real quick. Yeah, die. Yay! I did it. Level Yay. two! Level two! Yeah, you've been neglecting my girl. Yes, yeah, so I'm learning. Okay. It's funny. So we're oh. winning. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> We're doing great, guys. Kind of scary seeing one of our people get so low on health that I, and I just didn't realize. Yeah. Um, since, God, if next mission is the one that maybe it's after chapter four, you can die. Oh, is he? Oh, he's a magic user. Oh, interesting. I'm sorry. Oh, that checks out. 
it's a house of like dark wizards. Oh, oh, right. They're overtaking yeah. him because he's a dark wizard. However, you clearly have no concept of how terrifying I can. Have you seen Friday the Thirteenth? Are you gonna become a I'm dragon? Scarier. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Lady chooses to abide your existence no longer. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Abide your existence, crazy. Starting to understand the situation you're in. All right. I know. What? Uh, this is definitely something that uh, three houses would explain. But why is her uncle in charge and not like her parents or her parents dead? Well, this is one of the houses. Oh. Okay. Also talked over the line. I'll see it in editing, but. Had something to do with Shez. Because oh. Shez was caught off guard. <laughs> oh, I thought I he said I had I to act. Bested. You gonna escape or? Uh, Become a demon. Uh, oh shit. She was, she just was gonna... not gonna capture. Oh my god. Uh, not happening. <laughs> oh, you have two hands. No. <laughs> <laughs> We are the darkness itself. Oh, wow. And the darkness cannot be slain. Edgy. Yeah, very edgy. Jeez, that axe cooler <laughs> than the axe we have. He escaped. <sighs> Cowardly of him. But we can take comfort in our victory either way. <laughs> I guess. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's holding an axe with now that hand. Huh? Are you kidding me? When mercs want to celebrate a win, we slap our open palms together, like that. <laughs> I have a sheltered trial and all I know is war. I what mean, are you talking about? Victory, Lady Edelgard. God. Thank you, Hubert. Still, I don't much like how those rats managed to keep skittering away. I imagine that guy's pretty close with Kranya and Tomas. Since he shapeshifted and all. Yeah. Kind of similar looking shapeshift. Uh, separate than what Chez does. Yeah. Yes. They are all part of a clandestine organization attempting to conquer Fodlin from the shadows. Hmm. Those who slither in the dark. Slytherin! No. No, not them. All right. Huh. Never heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's from a different universe. <laughs> so... What is the plan now, your highness? Why did our friend go, hmm? We make ready for my coronation. Hubert, gather everyone in the throne room. She I is taking over, though. You're right. She's like, I graduated oh, school this now. This is wonderful. Your highness is going to become your majesty. Yes, but first I must speak with the minister of domestic affairs, as well as the other counts. Also, I need you to go to the Knights of Saros. Tell them I did a great job. I wasn't oh, expecting hey. all of you this soon. What are you doing here? We're just waiting outside, just watching. We demand an explanation. Oh. You arrested my father, Edelgard. How could you do such a thing without discussing it with yeah, me Yeah, that's first? what I was yeah. wondering. Because, yeah. Just... I'm probably not getting the finer points here, but you basically defeated both my father and Ferdinand's. Is that right? Huh. I wasn't fighting your father, Kaspar. He was aiding me, as was Count Hevering. So, um, what about my father? Did you arrest him? Unfortunately not. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bernadette wanted her dad in jail. Look, I'm sure you have your reasons for all of this. But maybe you should sit down and talk us through it. And I intend to. We'll reconvene later and clear everything up then. Hmm. Monica, join me. We'll talk as we go. No one else, though. Yeah. Damn, look at us! Woohoo! Getting through this shit. Talk about Slither and all these S's. S ah. Stop right. referencing Slithering. Well, that was just, they said Slither away, so I literally meant like Slithering. Understandable. Away at that point. <laughs> I've blocked Harry Potter from my brain. I don't, I don't believe in Harry Potter anymore. <laughs> created this. Yeah, you're right. I don't know if I have a. Funny one liner. Any experience is worth having. <laughs> right. ah, that's not true. Okay. You ever got a splinter? <laughs> I must regain what I've lost. Uh, well, if you get a splinter, then you know how to get it out next time, right? Not true. Not true. Not true. Growth is a part of life. Yeah. You ever been stabbed by lead? 
Have you ever gotten lead poisoning? Have you? No. Oh. Have you ever drank bleach before? Not on purpose. <laughs> oh, that's good. Gotta keep aiming higher. I do have a spot on one of my fingers that has uh, graphite in it, though. Oh my god, Edelgard mastered the fighter technique. Let's go. Nice. What a fascinating power. In the combat, smash. <laughs> a new power is now Sword is now D. Authority level is now D. <laughs> Funny. I imagine this was. I don't. I. I. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. I just don't think it's fully important that I hear every single thing they have to say. I, yeah, I don't think any of them have much important to say in these scenes. When do I get to spend my gold? It's been nonstop cutscene into battle so far, you know? Did we ever get paid for hmm. saving those kids? You say I have two years to complete these preparations. Maybe? In cooperation with Count Hevering, of course. You and Hubert can finalize the details later. As I won't be choosing a Prime Minister for some time, I realize this may result in extra work for you. However, that also means more latitude to do things as you see fit. So long as you ensure we're prepared for a five-year war. Dang! No, war's not good. This is like a ten-minute war. What do you mean, five years? <laughs> I mean, first of all, it's a two-year preparation, no Prime Minister, which is interesting. I wonder if that's, like, standard. Yeah. I will not rest until I discover a solution, your highness. Ah. So long as our military leaders don't tread on my toes, I shouldn't have too much difficulty. This guy looks hmm. like he should be a mortician. For something this big, you better believe we'll have plenty of need for resources. I saw a Twitter post recently where this guy, Berglees, he looks very similar to the guy in the, in the Twitter post who said that this looks like an American guy made for a Japanese game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just... Yeah. Yeah, I can feel Leave that. Leave to a narrow-minded quill carrier like you to call that treading on your toes. <laughs> In Her Majesty's name, I will decide what is and isn't appropriate regarding your needs. Also, anyone would seem narrow-minded when compared to a swollen-headed juggernaut such as yourself. <laughs> These guys need marriage counseling. Huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I see someone allowed his sarcasm lessons to lapse. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Lord Arendelle's followers will doubtless attempt to interfere, so we'll need to keep a close eye on them. Once Count Varley joins us, we can discuss the matter I mentioned further. It seems he's just arrived, Your Majesty. Oh, hello. Hey, what's Apologies up? for my tardiness. Gregoire von Varley at the court service. Are you... No. My, but attendance seems light. Where is the Lord Regent and the rest of our noble six? Duke Iyer stands accused of treason and has been dismissed as Prime Minister. He currently awaits judgment in one of our finer dungeons. Hmm. Lord Arendelle is a fugitive from the same crime and will be taken in soon. Dead or alive, <laughs> it makes no difference. Well, this is a rather shocking turn of events. I had no idea Ludwig was capable of such things. Still, rest assured that I am nothing like him. <laughs> Indeed. And as for the others, Duke Gert was dispatched to Western Fodland to conduct negotiations. And my father, the late Marquis Vestra, perished in the struggle to capture Duke Gaia. Huh? Oh. Which makes me the new Marquis Vestra. A minister of the Imperial household. In wow, just uh, cold blooded. Yeah, you're my dad's smiling dead. about that. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> moon, same. Count Farley. Her Majesty intends to bestow a great honor upon. I just wonder because the purple hair. I was wondering if if that's Bernadetta's huh? dad. Oh, oh. Because he also seems like a little bit of a scaredy cat. Like, yeah, maybe. I mean, Bernadette does want her dad arrested. Majesty, wait. You mean... The title hasn't been formalized just yet, but as it stands, you should view it as a foregone conclusion. More importantly, Count Varley, there is a very important position I wish for you to fill. I intend to rebuild the Southern Church, and who better to be the bishop than you, our Minister of Religious Affairs? I will make my case to the Archbishop personally. I wonder if... if is, is this... Is Elgar going to leave the school? Are we done with, like, the school arc? If she's going to be... This Thankfully, or Lord Arundel and his men are no longer around to obstruct such a move. Or inexplicably, they're just going to be like, "Yeah, she leads the country now, but, but also, also she's got class." <laughs> she's got homework. You bestow such a position on me. Uh, make no mistake, it is a great honor, but 
Are you certain? That's never a Very. good sign. <laughs> now then. Your first duty in the role will be to oversee my coronation. Do not fail me, Bishop. Oh. All right. Wow. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you enjoying? Oh your wow! Stay yeah, we're staying at the palace. Well, that's nice. Uh, God, hard to say. I was. I feel like Shez would feel like it's uncomfortable because not really used to any sort of royalty, anything, right? Yeah. Want to go with this? Uh, it could be mostly pleasant. At the opposite side of the spectrum, she could just right. be happy to be in a palace. You're right. Um, yeah. Whichever. Oh, more than I expected. Though I do feel a bit out of place here. Oh, yeah, just a little though. Understandable. Everyone here either is a noble themselves or serves one. However, that will change. Oh? As emperor, I plan to end discrimination based on social status. Oh, shit! Yay. Everyone will have a chance to rise to the top, whether they are born into the aristocracy or not. Hell yeah. No more nobles or commoners, huh? That does sound pretty great. I'll be impressed if you can actually pull it off. Oh, I will. Mm. But at the moment, I have a proposition for you. Talk to me. Go on. We've successfully expunged the Prime Minister and the rest of that puppet government. But a certain amount of unrest is unavoidable. Which means I must remain here in the capital. In other words, I can't go back to Garrick Mach and continue my studies. Interesting. What about the others? Our noble families will be in disarray as we transition to my system and new heads of household take power. Of course, some, like Dorothea, are not as affected as the other students. But all of them have offered to stay and help rather than return to the monastery without us. Oh. Okay. If you'd be willing to do the same, I'd like to offer you a top post Yeah, we are. We're military. leaving the school. Or not. Maybe now we can choose to go to another house. Offer. It's not like you have any real obligation to the church. Plus, it sounds like quite the thrill. I'm more of a hired sword than an officer. Which is why you're perfect. Hubert wants to recruit mercenaries such as yourself and form a new unit. Okay. I can't put some noble in command of them. That would be ill-advised. But they would listen to a capable fighter such as you. You're Hubert's first and only and choice. And only, damn. I don't know if I really have the experience for it. But if you have that much faith in me, I won't let oh, you down. Ah, it's not an option. Yeah. I'm gonna go join the blue team now. <laughs> hey, I'll, go, I'll see you later. I'm gonna go hang out with those Lord deer. Arundel and Duke Iyer. Edelgard quickly arranges for her coronation, her eyes now fixed firmly on the monumental task laid out before her. All the while, the kingdom of Fargus is thrown into unrest over the right of succession. While the Leicester Alliance finds themselves pitted against an invading Almyron horde. Oh, wow. A lot wow. of shit happening. Okay, so Yellow's dealing with invading and, and what was the blue team the happening? Of Fodlin will fall Unrest. squarely on her young students' shoulders. Archbishop Rhea closes the Officers' Academy and permits her charges to return home. Huh. Wow, so the school just had to shut down because everyone's at war. Yeah, that's prologue fin. That's the end of the prologue. Oh, wow. All right, next on Borderlands is Gaming. We'll take on what I believe to be the final chapter of this demo. This demo is long. And the fact that you can go back and play as the two other houses, the Golden Deers and the Oh, so blue. much, so much content wow. for a demo. All right, I'll go ahead and prompt the idea now. If you want to see us take on the other houses uh, here in the demo, let us know. I think that could be something fun to do. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, next up, More Losers Gaming. Thank you all so much for sticking around. If you have not already, if you're new here, love to subscribe to stick around and just join us on this adventure. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.